Well, howdy ho, two B race fans. It's your boy, Big Biz, back with a special adventure. So, got home today, and there is a big box. There it is. Big old box. So, we're going to see what's all in it. I'm excited. I think, I think this is all of the engine parts. I think. So without further ado, let's get to cracking. Okay. We're going to open this up together. I haven't even peeked. El no pico. Does it say who it's from? It says it's from Summit Racing. So that's a good sign. Ugh. All right, folks. You're seeing it for the first time just like I am. If these are the parts, we're going to get them down there to sell CJ. Oh, look at my little baby. We're going to get it down there to C.J. Reed and uh, have him start on the engine. Well, I take that back. Uh, I know I have to order my heads first. Well, good grief, they got enough of these packaging things, don't they? i got to order my heads first. Okay, let's see what we got. I don't see a crank. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. We've got lifters. Right there we go. Howard's cams. We've got, what's this here? Well, so they only give one head gasket now. So we're going to have to order another head gasket. Good thing they don't take too long to come in. All right, one head gasket. We've got, I know what this is. It's a tube for the oil pump, the, the, the shaft. There we go. This is my oil pump screen. This is my Milling 55 HV oil pump, high flow. We've got, what is this? DDS. Ugh. What do we got in here? got some good old pistons there that's what I'm talking about from DDS put that put that dude back in there we Well, it went back together easier than what it came out. Okay, we have, what is this? These are my bearings. These are bearings. As you can see, we got the good stuff. I mean, I think it's good stuff anyways. This is what I was told to get. He builds an awful lot of race engines. So we got King Racing bearings. I got uh what is this? Uh this is a head bolt kit. We got a dampener. 
we got, I know this is the flex plate right there, all brand new and shiny. And this here, I don't know what this is. It's heavy. So I don't see, oh, connecting rods. That's what I'm talking about. So I don't see my crank. And I don't see my cam. Everything else, though. Here we go. We got some connecting rods. All right, all right. So maybe, maybe I have to get online and we'll see if we have some more parts coming. But, we're starting to get there. We are starting to get there. It's starting to get exciting now. So I've got the transmission. I got the coupler the other day. I, I just went ahead, I, I tried to get somebody to trade me or see if they had one for sale. I just went ahead and ordered a brand new one. So, I got the coupler. For the transmission, I got the transmission. I've got the gear for the rear end. So the only thing we got to do is uh, once. So I'm, I'm we're pulling the 377 back out. It's not all the way in, anyways. But we're going to pull the 377 back out, and this is this is what we're going to do. Pull the 377 back out. Take the transmission that's on there off of there. We're going to put the transmission I have now that I just got, we're going to put that on. We're going to slide all that in there. We're going to put the rear end gear in. We're going to measure. We've got to measure uh, the uh, the length for the drive shaft and order a drive shaft. Once we get the drive shaft in and, and the U-joints and, and everything else, then I will have basically a car that's ready to, to go, basically, basically. Um, the, uh, the other things that, let's see, we, would, we will still need is I will still need to get, uh, let's see here. I'll still need to get tires. I gotta get tires. Uh, I'll have to get some lead for some weight. Um, we've got to, I'm gonna order the stuff for, so I'm gonna get back online here in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and order another uh, head gasket. And then I'm gonna look for heads. I'm going to go ahead and get those ordered, so that way, when they come in, and hopefully the cam, hopefully the cam and crank will come in soon, uh, but when they get here, we can load all this stuff up, and we can head down south, and that way we have a complete engine ready to rock and roll when he's done. I've got the intake, he's got the oil pan down there, I've got another oil pan, uh, but uh, as of right now, we've got, I'm going to say, 80% of the motor in this box. And uh, like I said, we'll just wait for the, for the crank and the cam uh, and then the heads. And then, oh, i got to get, get a carburetor. I'm still looking at different carburetors. Um, so... They have specific numbers that I can run, but I can get a different metering block, and that's where that's where your 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 juice comes from. Uh, so I'm looking at different metering blocks from different companies and seeing what they got to offer. Because I would like when you hit the gas, I want it there. Um, I don't want it there. I know guys gonna want it there. Matter of fact, I was just messaging him, telling him about the motor options and stuff. 
and uh so we'll i think it's gonna be a good engine uh it's only gonna last for a couple nights that's it let's hope it lasts longer than that but that's all it needs to last um i don't have a backup engine right now the plan was to have a backup engine but i don't have a backup engine because of the way the rules are i can't afford another engine so I'm going to see if Guy might know somebody that we could throw a 604 crate sealed in the trailer just in case. Uh, we can use the carburetor because it, it's, a, it's the same, same carburetor rule as this 360. So at least if something happens there, then we have a backup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order a rebuild kit for the transmission. I was told it doesn't take that long to rebuild these transmissions. It's a Falcon Winter's Falcon transmission. So I'm going to go ahead and order some new seals and clutches. Uh, so that way we have a spare that we could put together in a night um, and redo it. Uh, I'm going to have three gear ratios to take. Um, 583, 600, and 620. I don't know what to put in there first, but uh, we're going to try the, the 620 first. I'm going to put the 620 in. Um, but, yep. We're going to get all this stuff done. I got to do a little bit more to the body. I got to find some uh, sheet metal. Um, I want to replace a couple panels because they're pretty pretty dinged up and dented. And then uh, I call Zach for uh, Zach Bunning Graphics and uh, tell him to get on the ball. As right now, it's going to be pretty easy because I have zero sponsors. None. Not one person that said they were going to sponsor me has came up with anything. So as of right now, I have zero sponsors. If anybody would like their name on the car, it's pretty simple. It's 10 bucks, 10 bucks. And I'm going to dedicate a spot on the car that anybody that wants to donate $10, I'm going to put their name on the car. Uh, and, uh, I got to talk to another guy in town. He's a, uh, a member of the Eagles with me. He owns a, uh, he owns a little shop there, uh, makes t-shirts and he makes all kinds of stuff, but, uh, see if we can get together on some stuff. If somebody would like to donate $25, then I will ship them uh, some merch with with their sponsorship and a thank you. Um, but I don't have anything yet. So that's coming in the future. Um, we're getting ready to get ready. So I got to get this car done because I want to get to the uh, Hot Dog Festival, which is what we have here in Frankfurt. And then I want to go to Delphi to the park. And sell some of my cousin's coffee. That way it helps, it supports his band. And also, he gives me a good deal on it. And the profit that I make, it goes towards racing. So I'm gonna, I'm hoping to sell, I'm gonna invest, uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of coffee and I'm hoping I could sell out. Um, it's gonna be a good advertisement for both of us. I am putting his name on the car. Uh, because that is a type of sponsorship. What he helps me out. So if anything, it's gonna be a whole, Jason Wells banned coffee car as of right now. Um, so I just wanted to open the box. I didn't know what was in it. I thought was, everything was in it, but hey, it's a start. And we'll be back with some more information and another video here soon. You guys have a good day. Well, hey, fellas and girls, we're back. I was trying to lay down because I worked last night and heard the doorbell. Who could it be? It's almost like Christmas! More packages! Let's open them! What do we got in this box? Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, so I am... As soon as I get done opening these uh, packages here to see what's... Ooh, boy, about stabbed myself. 
uh, to see what's in these. I am going to order the heads. So, I'm actually waiting on a message from the engine builder to make sure I'm getting getting the right things. Ooh, look. It's paper. I like this stuff because I use it for packaging when I sell stuff online. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? It looks like an old box. That's what it looks like. Right, let's see if we can take this box out. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. This thing looks like it's been on the shelf for about 20 years. Look at that lot date. 324-2008. Day gum, but oh well. Look at this. Shiny, brand new. 2701. That's what I think that's what this is. Now... Yep, right there, 2701. That's what they said I can use. Now, there's the bad thing. Hey, hang on again. Here's the bad thing. Is, for this race, they say we cannot alter anything. The heads, intake, we can't do any kind of work to them whatsoever. So, here's the bad thing. Is this right here? See these little ridges right here like that right there? I don't care what they say. We're going to knock that off. We're going to knock this off. Just a little bit. But, it's been proven that you take this here and this here and you mill it. You, you mill it down about a quarter of an inch below the, the, the surface here. Yeah, about a quarter of an inch. And that actually raises up, that raises up a lot of horsepower. I think it's like, man, I don't know. They've done a, a, a test on it. Like, it was quite a bit. Uh, I want to say maybe 6 to 10 horsepower. But anyways, it looks all right. Doesn't have a lot of casting flaws I don't see. Just a little bit right here, a little bit right there. But we, we'll be able to clean that up. Now, let's check out on the bottom side. Okay. These are going to be a little small. I can already tell. Uh, for the for the intake gasket. But that's okay. And um, we're not allowed to do any work to it. So, uh, while, now when, after the race, after the race, we'll be able to pull this dude off. And uh, we've got to take care of this, though. Take that little burr off right there. Uh, but after the race, we can pull it back off, and we can do whatever we want to it. Um, I, now, I went with the 2701. They had some different options. But I went with the 2701 because I looked it up, and uh, out of all the dyno tests... This intake here made, on average, six more horsepower than the other intakes they said I'm allowed to use. So, you know, like I said, however I can gain just a little bit here and a little bit there, I'm going to do it. So, okay, so we got, we got the intake now. So we've got... Pit, so in the, in the big box earlier, we got pistons, we got rods, we got the oil pump, we got uh, lifters, we got what we got one head gasket. Oh yeah, I gotta order one more of those. Uh, but we got uh, what else did we get? Uh, anyways, yeah, we got most of the engine in the other one. Okay, so this is from Speedway Motors. Now, 
Let's see. I can't remember what I ordered from Speedway. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I ordered the cam from Speedway because the cam, that's what it feels like, the cam from Jags was on back order. And I got, okay, okay. Okay. We won't, we're going to try to do away with some of these boxes. Okay, so we've got, we got some Rev Lube. That's to put everything together. All right. Now, here we go. What is this? What do we got here? This just looks like a plain old white box, don't it? Let's see what this baby looks like. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice looking cam. I think it's a nice looking cam anyways. Let's see here. No information on there. No information on there either. Well, let's hope this is the right cam. Let's hope it's the right cam. I hope so. I mean, I, I ordered what he told me to get. I mean, I have a cam there, but it is it is for a, it's a roller cam, and it's it's big. Uh, I think I'm gonna have him. I've got another engine block there. It's a four oh. It's a four. It's a four hundred block. I think it's been bored forty over, so that makes it a four oh eight. Uh, but I think I'm gonna have him redo it and make a. Uh, what am I going to have him make out of it? I might order a stroker kit for it and take my 406 out of the Trans Am and uh, throw, make it a street engine and uh, redo, that, redo that 406 that I have and make it a race engine uh, and then make the, make my the that 408 Make it like a 421 street engine. That'd make uh that'll make the uh, the Trans Am go a little bit. All right, we got a packaging list here, but we don't look at those. We want to see the day gum product. Now this is a scat crank. Uh, we decided not to go with Eagle because Eagle cranks they seem to be not machined the greatest. Uh, they have they have some flaws coming straight out of the the factory, and these Scat 9000 cranks uh, they seem to be okay. Um, I could have went with like a a more expensive crank, but you know we are on a budget still. And uh, let me tell you something: this stuff is not actually that cheap, but. We got a crank here. Let's see if I can let's see if I can open this baby up. Uh, it is a steel crank. It's not lightweight. We're not allowed to have lightweight uh, knife edge. We're not allowed to have any of that stuff. It is balanced. Uh, so there it is. So now we have now we have the crank, rods, pistons, cam lifters bearings that's what else we have bearings uh the assembly lube the intake the only thing i need to get is another the heads in which i'm getting ready to do that and uh the other uh, head gasket intake gasket uh timing cover gasket oil pan gasket stuff like that little stuff which he may have that. I'm not sure. Uh, I've already got the distributor. Um, I bought that a while ago. 
but I think I have to adjust the uh, rev limiter on it. It does have a rev, a rev limit, a rev limiter on it, but I think it's set to uh, 7,500. And I think with this, I'll have to look at the rules again, but I think it's, I think it's 68 is the most we could turn on this engine. So, all right, well, there's our parts. So, uh, as soon as the heads come in, we'll be able to take everything down south to CJ Reed and get the engine going. And uh, hopefully we'll have it fired up. I don't think it'll take him too long to, to build it. He's already got, I think he's already got the block prepped. Uh, he's got to have the pistons so he knows exactly what size to bore the engine. And uh, shouldn't take him too long. He uh, he's pretty pretty quick worker. So the head should be in Monday or Tuesday, I believe. Uh, I ordered them yesterday and uh, last night, and uh, said they ship out within 24 to 48 hours. So that's two days. So. And I don't think they got to go very far. I can't remember where the place is at. Minnesota, Iowa, something like that. Uh, so, yeah. I'm excited. Can't wait. But uh, hopefully it cools down. Right now the heat index every day is over 100. And it's even hotter in the shop. So. we uh, We haven't been doing a whole lot. And it's bad because we need to kind of cool down so we can get on the, get on the ball. But as soon as this engine comes back, we'll be able to drop her down in there, get her fired up, and get everything else done. So stay tuned, folks. Just going to get exciting. Y'all have a good day.